they said they found a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube that Diddy would use for these freak offs. Uh, it was a slip and slide in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it was a slip and slide in there. <laughs> slip this way, slip that way. My taste, just this great. I promise you, it was, it was a slip and slide in that. That was slipping and sliding on every that came in one room. And and it's okay. I'm not talking about girls. The girls look at these like ill. You, her. <laughs> the guys. <laughs> The guys, okay? The guys. Jamie Foxx walks in the room and he says, Hey, all girls, if you don't have a walk out of the room. And he's like, Start singing with the piano. Orlando Brown is at it again, dropping bombshells and wild accusations like he's got a VIP pass to all the Hollywood secrets. This time, he's talking about none other than Diddy's downfall. Brown, known for his outlandish and sometimes outrageous claims, is out here saying he knows exactly who had a hand in Diddy's recent arrest drama, and he's not holding back. Uh, what was your first thoughts when you seen this? Um, my first thoughts uh, was, you know, because I've uh, I've always said that, you know, um, you know, Puff is not gonna go to jail and, and all that stuff. I've been holding. A lot of stuff in and, and making it, you know what I'm saying, a little bit better for him as much as I can. But I got a badass daughter. You know, Diddy's my daughter. That's that's Journey. That's Journey Brown. And I can't. I'm not gonna hold this anymore. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop bullshitting. I'm gonna stop playing. You know, I have a daughter by the name of Journey Brown. Okay, and that's P Diddy. And and you know. Uh, I told y'all he wasn't gonna go to jail. It's my daughter, and and I'm I'm okay with you know the discipline from God. I'm okay with you know um, my kids getting disciplined for certain things that's going on in the world and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know um, he's still not gonna see bars because he's a she, and um, I respect uh, the fact that uh, a lot of people you know uh, don't understand what God does when you do get in trouble. Unfortunately, he's one of the people that did, and and uh, that's why he's a she. And and Journey's gonna be fine. Um, that's my daughter, uh, and that's what I was trying to say without saying it. All the other interviews. <laughs> so you know now that your daughter journey p diddy is is in is in deep trouble now man you know how is that affecting your guys' friendship it's not affecting anything um i just think that it was a fair game uh it was awesome to um be able to see that you know the heights of some people can definitely reach great heights but you know when you do certain things on the inside you know there's people that that actually work for god you got to be careful you know and that's what it turns into uh when you go from being a mogul to a child um that means you did talk to god but if you can get somebody to make the wrong decision and you end up being them hey why not did you see the video of him and cassie yes you know we all saw it what, what was your thoughts um i thought he was beating up on danielle i was <laughs> i thought he was beating up on on uh the girl i i was supposed to be married to and i was like oh my god oh my gosh you know what's going on what's going on uh, is that jenna jackson on the floor with a cover on her head and it's just like you know, it's a, are you beating up jenna jackson it's 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 a kind of uh uh rule and um ritual thing that goes on in my mind when i see certain things like that you know um you're watching the man beat up on jenna jackson and nobody knows it's jenna jackson you know uh, these facelifts mean nothing um when you know the soul of the individual themselves well they're saying that this was cassie's plan all along you know she sues him takes his money signs an nda and agrees not to talk about it but i'm sure she knew that the nda wouldn't be good if the feds got involved 
Well, the thing is, you can't blame her. It's other people now. You know, you have the assistant. You also have um, uh, a couple of people that, you know, have, have worked for him that are stepping up. And uh, these are allegations that are things that are not uh, allegations are things that are not uh, fabricated um, all the way. Um, sometimes you have to just look at the facts and we're looking at facts, pure, cold, hard facts here. Um, my daughter did some up shit, but at the same time, the only reason why she's not going to be in jail is because she's my daughter, bro. That's all. You're going to pull some strings. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you think a lot of people are turning on Diddy, people that are close to him? Yeah, man, they're going to turn. You know, they're going to turn. They want that money. <laughs> you know what I mean? They want to try to use things. And this, Diddy is Journey Brown. You know what I'm saying? Like, Leave my daughter alone. Everything that you guys have, you guys have. Whatever you guys want, you're not going to get. Um, and it's not going to be an embarrassing situation for my daughter. What do you think it's going to be like if Cassie has to get on the stand and tell all? Um, They're looking for a movie out of this. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're looking for a movie. They want to tear... Uh, diddy down in any kind of way possible i don't think it's possible um i think that anything that they're they're gonna be able i mean even in the notorious movie you'll see that there's not a real way to tear him down or pin anything on him there is a lot of hate i feel um you know nobody's been the mogul nobody's been diddy nobody's been in that position nobody's been in that seat so um to control things of that nature and to be able to conversate with people that are condemned sharks of the industry and of this world um to be turned into a this and a that and a this by by you know by means of verbal consumption is just ridiculous at this point you know um uh, they'll never be in that seat. They'll never be able to make that kind of money, do those kind of deals. And I see that a lot of people are just really, really jealous. Um, and uh, it's my job to protect my daughter. Are you mad that people are trying to tear Diddy down? I'm not mad. I'm, I'm more like upset because a lot of people, a lot of people knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? as far as getting down you know when you get down you're gonna either get down or you're gonna lay down and a lot of people got down you know they seen the manipulation they seen the, the deception they seen everything and they was like all right cool whatever i'm gonna just get down and, and i'm not gonna try to figure this all out i'm gonna just get down and it's more souls that got down than laid down well, they say they might try to come for his money. They're trying to involve his money in the case. What do you think is going to happen? What's what's that? They're not like, going to be able to dock anything or even put a number on anything because they don't even know his his dollar amount. They don't know his his figure. Um, there's a thing called offshore accounts <laughs> and they can keep playing, you know, um, but it's not about videos. It's about money, you know, and a lot of people that just don't have it. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a lot of people that just don't have money, baby. I'm sorry. So you think Diddy got his money situation covered one way or the other, man? That that even if they try to take everything, he got he got offshore accounts, he got 
He got it backed up in some way. Well, there's not a way for me to protect somebody that's abusing women on camera. It's not a way for me to protect somebody that's, you know, um, uh, doing, you know, offshore account business and things of that nature. All I'm telling you is that, you know, uh, these are the facts. The facts are he does have. Uh, According to Brown, it wasn't just random allegations or long forgotten skeletons in Diddy's closet coming back to haunt him. Nope. Orlando says that there was a powerful behind the scenes force that made sure Diddy's dirty laundry finally hit the public eye. Um, a couple of investments that would prove him right, regardless of whatever law or whatever body had to walk into the courtroom. You know, um, was it even him? Mm. Or are we just trying to wrap mm. so, this so up? You're saying, I mean, <laughs> are we just trying to wrap this up or what? I don't know. Maybe I mean I don't know. I mean So somebody else is actually gonna do Diddy's time for him. It looks like Tasha K. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean hey. I don't know. So he, here's where things get interesting, man. Um, you know, this has kind of been one of the topics that's been associated with Diddy and all of his allegations that have been coming out. And, you know, a, a lot of people are saying that a lot of celebrities are really stressing right now. They're really scared about what's going to come to the light. The only thing that can come to the light is what they did in the dark. Okay. Do you think that, you know, the, a lot of people are stressing out right now? Do you agree with, with uh, what people are saying? That a lot of people are... What did they do in the in dark, the Cam? What did they do on that 50-foot bed, Cam? What did they do on the dim mother... Drones, Cam. What was well, they saying. doing, Cam? I don't know. Hey, it ain't got nothing to do. It, it, it what it, it was done in the Cam. Can you finish this? Cause you should be a smart. Pro What's done in the dark show come to the light. Oh, you read your Bible. <laughs> oh, smart man. <laughs> It has nothing to do with what you think it is. What my God says it will be, it shall be. <laughs> what my God says it will be, shall be. They can't be mad at what they did. That's like, that's like, that's like Forrest Gump getting mad at him going back to grab Bubba. Like, bro, you knew you it was bombs falling. <laughs> you know it's going, it's going down back there. But I gotta find Bubba. <laughs> Some people gotta find Bubba. And when they find Bubba, eh, Bubba dead already and <laughs> shit. You know, Bubba dead. You can't, can't, can't pick up the Bubba and run. 20 miles this way, bubble gone. Goddamn, might as well drop his ass because them bombs is coming. And they don't want them bombs to come. But oh, that day the bombs come, will you be ready? See, I've never had a day to where bombs hit me until actually when I. See, I had a problem. See, I, my problem was I loved to jack off. So I was watching Pornhub, I was jerking my off doing shit that i wasn't supposed to be doing watching things screwing my own hand you know screwing my own hand cam and that's when the bombs hit me i got burn marks on my i got i i, I wasn't able to, i wasn't i had a, a, I, my shit looked at like the guy from a, a family guy you know it was bad i had a swollen arm and then in my hand i'm like i gotta stop jacking off that was the bomb the bomb would stop touching myself do you want to touch yourself all the time you want to just keep touching on yourself well a lot of people just love to touch themselves they love to masturbate they love to do uh, uh they love to steal they love to kill they love to uh, uh uh put themselves in weird ass positions to where they know that they shouldn't be putting themselves in and that is where the bomb comes you cannot be mad at 
what's happening when you already did what we can see. As the Illuminati, that means you and I, everyone else that cooks your food, that makes sure we take out your trash, that cleans your toilet when you don't want to, upper class, lower class, as above, so below. These are the people that you keep disrespecting. And then you think that since we watching from a low ass pedestal, right? Okay, yeah, you think you're not gonna end up with bombs on you? No, we're the eyes of God. We are the eyes of I God. Hear you. you know, when the feds come, you either tell or you're screwed. Do you think Diddy will snitch and give everybody up to avoid a life sentence? He ain't gonna say nothing about nobody. That's the thing, bro. Why, why would he? Why would he say something? Ain't nobody gonna say, him, get bro, it. bro, bro, bro. My baby mama right now, my wife, my ex-wife right now, because I got on really street stars. You know what I'm saying? I literally, literally, was sitting in my room contemplating with God about if I'm going to be able to be on stage on the 22nd. I was chilling with my my my, my wife still because I got a divorce. It's more like, bro, bruises popped up on my daughter, right? Bruises popped up on my daughter. And so I check her, right? I check her. Next thing you know, I got police at the crib. And I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? How it happens is like, you know, like, yo, it's bruises on my mom daughter. Like, you tripping? Ooh, ah, da, da, da. Yeah. You tripping? I grab my son <laughs> Cause she said Oh no 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 I didn't do it You did it Grab my son I said alright Grab my son I go take him swimming He gotta pee I run back upstairs The door is locked Door is locked Police is Approaching across You know uh, 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 Around the building No 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 So they're approaching Around the building and, and, and I'm throwing a rock To the window Trying to get in What's going on? What's going on? And they're like, yo, what's going on? I'm like, yo, hey, my son's like, yo, we're, but mommy locked the door. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now it's like, oh, well, did you do anything? No, nothing was done. Nothing. No, did you, did you guys argue? No, 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 no. Didn't say anything. Okay. So then the conclusion was you can stay. No crime was committed. Okay, so she sits there and she waits about a week, maybe two days after that altercation. She probably went to the to, 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 to the police, right? So so I'm sitting there eating. About two weeks later, I'm I'm eating. Police pop up knocking at the door. And I'm like, yo, what the is going on? I am hit with a order of protection. I am hit with, I can't post my kids. I am hit with, I can't say anything about what's going on in my personal life pertaining to my family or you go to jail, you know? And that that is the game that is being played as far as what I mean by if I was going to perform or if I'm going to perform, I only can say, that I'm a man pushing, you know what I'm saying? When the police pulled up the first time and there was no crime committed, why didn't you say that I was the one that put bruises on my daughter? Why would you wait and then pull this? It, it, you know, it, it, it's a lot of people that hate Cam. It's a lot going on, like you know. So I'm gonna show up to the show because I know. That I am I am not the person to, to to cheat the public, cheat the people that I didn't do. If I did, I would have to tuck my tail. Yo, if did he this, he would have had to tuck his tail. He was just on Harlem in Harlem with his family. He was just taking pictures in Harlem with his family, yo. Some people will hang things over your head. And, and 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 it may not necessarily be you, but they'll push you to death with some bull. Yo, you bet not get on stage. Yo, you bet not do this. Yo, you bet not do that. What is he not doing to where now everything is ruined? Supposedly, what is he not doing? 
Did he not kill me? I don't know. But the same way I got hanging over my head, I know he had hanging over his head. You know what I'm saying? And I got to protect my daughter at all costs. It's my bestie. Period. It's my bestie. You know what I'm saying? Rumors are swirling that Orlando believes some of Diddy's closest allies might have turned on him, whispering secrets into the right ears, making sure those allegations got blown up to the max. Brown's hinting at a betrayal within Diddy's inner circle, saying that somebody who knew all of Diddy's deepest, darkest secrets decided to spill. I can't see no motherfucking bars for Sean Combs. Ask Journey Brown. What are y'all talking about? Do y'all need pills? What the fuck going on? So you think he was asked to do something that he didn't want to do? Yo, obviously. Obviously, so was Jigga. So was Will Smith. Will Smith was first. Everybody that has ever tried to help me, they're taking their crowns. Don't nobody get it? Bow wow. That king don't deserve... None of this, yo. He, he, yo. He went to a bar and they tried to, they tried to, they, they tried to act like his car was declining. They think it's funny. They think it's a joke. They think it's a joke, and it's not. It really ain't. When you putting jail time over somebody' mother in head, they don't deserve it. It don't, it don't, it don't, it don't. So I'm supposed to pull up and get and get arrested because I, I posted my kids. No, who are my kids? I must be right. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's yo. So Diddy, Diddy's locked up because why? Um, he got he got the tapes and they don't want the tapes to come up, come up uh 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 on whatever whatever and how however they come up or whatever. I right, great, okay, cool, I get it. You know, but my main thing is like yo, he. I was in jail when they shut it down and he came and talked to Suge Knight. This is real shit. I was, I talked to the guy that actually cleaned his cell and cleaned Puff's cell. This is not a game. This is real. When you get locked up and you, and you're a certain person and you, you know what I mean? That's my, yeah, Suge's my uncle, bro. Like these are real things. These are real things, and they they act like 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 we don't talk when we sleeping in jail. This is real shit. People want to act all tough with nobody talking until you know um until until the video of him beating her up actually came across as you know what I'm saying. And and I'm not mad at the fact that you know um that it's going this way. But Janet Jackson been been over by a lot of people, man. Janet Jackson been over. It's not about Diddy, yo. It's about Janet. It really is about. It's about Janet Jackson, yo. It's about how she's been hurt, how she's been, how she's been taken from, how she's been taken advantage of, and that's what's really going on right now. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can't have a fake Jermaine Dupree. If Jermaine Dupree can get Janet Jackson a short. Like me, better damn sure get Janet Jackson. That look in the face. At least I got I got 15 seconds of a six pack. She would love to lick on a little something like this. A little young that start bad. It don't give a about nothing but what he's supposed to. Oh, you know Janet is wanting to get real close to Orlando Brown. <laughs> Give her this shit. And you, Nick, you got Mariah. Let me let me make love to Janet Jackson. Let her ride my face like a bicycle tricycle. Michael, get tickled. God damn it! You don't understand it, and you won't understand it, Janet. Don't panic. Well. One more thing before we get off of the Diddy thing, bro. I got to get your uh, your thoughts on, man. They said they found a thousand bottles of baby oil and lube. 
that Diddy would use for these freak offs. Uh, it was a slip and slide in that mother. <laughs> 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 it was a slip and slide in there. <laughs> slip this way, slip that way. My taste, just this great. I promise you, it was, it was a slip and slide in that. That was slipping and sliding on every that came in one room, and and it's okay. I'm not talking about girls. The girls look at these like ill. You her gay. <laughs> the guys. <laughs> The guys, okay? The guys. Jamie Foxx walks in the room and he says, Hey, all girls, if you don't have a penis, walk out of the room. And he's like, <laughs> Start singing with the piano and shit. You got Ray J running there with his shirt off and shit. You got my Floyd Mayweather in there popping his booty and shit on the top of the piano. I'm like, God damn, this is a freak off. This ain't no, yeah, all these been just freaking and freaking and geeking and geeking and thinking about thinking and freaking and geeking and freaking and thinking now oh, god damn how oh, no f wait a minute you mean to tell me that kamala harris is mary j blige and you want her to be the president you want mary j blige to be the mother president Okay, you might as well just tell me Joseph Jackson is the president right now And that way we can all get in one bed And we can all f And we can all just get pimped By Joseph Jackson <laughs> Joseph pulled up and pulled all of Michael Wasn't it Janet Actually, I believe it was Pulled up every painting Janet ever Owned off the wall That's mine, that's mine, that's mine That's mine I was like, get the out of here i don't care about the laurel canyon address what no the havenhurst address what about neverland they want everything out of that they want the original gloves <laughs> they want the original glitter socks they want the original everything cam i'm like damn <laughs> yeah vote donald trump i'm rich i don't give a about none of this shit. I'm rich. If, 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 vote Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Vote Donald Trump. I'm rich. I'm rich as a mother. Look at my ring. Look at my mother chains. Look, bone thugs and harmony. I got leather. I got gorilla skin on my jacket. That's because of Donald Trump, you punk. Don't you ever tell me nothing about no goddamn Kamala Harris when I'm running for Trump. I'm Trump, goddammit. I'm sorry, Kim. I apologize. It's all good. It's all good. You got to get some sh your chest sometimes. I understand. God damn it. Donald Trump. Vote Trump. You want to go pull up, have some Casamigos. You want to do a show like Bad Boys. You want to do some like major pain you want to get inside neverland and go see what's going on with all the animals and you want to you better vote donald trump i don't give a you better vote donald trump it, it might be the last time y'all can ever vote won't you vote joseph jackson jenna to kill you from london or japan or china <laughs> <laughs> Something we own, goddammit. You better stop playing. <laughs> vote Donald Trump. You vote for. Uh, <laughs> how do I hear it, husband? <laughs> I'll be hearing it in my head. I'll be hearing, um, uh, you know, like, um, I'll be like, <laughs> like, okay. I think about Kamala Harris, <laughs> and when I be hearing her, the only thing is, um, like, a uh, Mary J. Blige song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I be just hearing like, uh, uh, uh you remind me of a child, huh? you remind me, ooh, and she be doing her little hand gestures. I, I remember, I remind you, remind. and then I be like, God damn, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, you don't see Mary J. Blige and crazy that's crazy let's talk about todrick hall do you know who todrick hall is <laughs> i don't know who that is who's that you don't know who todrick is bro <laughs> everybody knows todrick that's the, that's tyra banks <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Tyra Banks, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to test your levels. Okay. Yeah, you got something. You got something you want to say or? Nah, it's up to you, you man. Know, What's going on? I'm just, you, yo, I'm you humble, know, man. You I know Tyra nothing, Banks? I don't got nothing to say other than other than what you allow me to speak of, bro. D do you know Tyra Banks? Uh, she's a friend of mine. <laughs> okay. Well, some of the other big news that was kind of funny, actually. Could it be someone in the music industry? Or maybe one of Diddy's longtime business partners? Brown isn't dropping names yet, but he's teasing that this person had all the receipts and played a major role in pushing those legal buttons that led to Diddy's arrest. Orlando's always been controversial, and while some people are brushing off his claims, others are starting to wonder if maybe, just maybe, he's got some insider info. After all, Hollywood is a small town when it comes to gossip and secrets. Whether Brown is onto something real or just riding the wave of Diddy's messy situation, one thing's for sure, he's adding fuel to an already blazing fire. The real tea is, Brown's been in and out of headlines himself, so some are saying this is just another stunt to keep his name in the mix, while others believe Orlando might be onto something that the world hasn't yet fully grasped.